Hello guys, hello guys. This is a project that I just built. It's a control system for vehicles. You know, we live in the world today with so many facilities. We have GPS, we have GSM, we have the internet, but we use them for other things, forgetting the most important ones. So um, this project is about using those technologies to solve some problems, like maybe get into the vehicle and you have to drive if you are drunk, the vehicle does not have a feature to may verify if you are, you, are, you are taking something or maybe you are drunk before starting the, the vehicle. So this system actually verifies that you are fit to drive before um, activating the start of your vehicle. So the system is made up with uh, this button here, this button here, this button here. This one is the accelerator, this one is the brake and this one is the clutch. We have the key part here which is there for which is there to enable the user to enter the password or the key code and other parameters that may be needed. We have here, our wheel here, we used um, a potentiometer and we have an LCD. And in this device, we have a PIC microcontroller. For this one, I programmed it with the PIC 18F4620 and uh, this GPS SIM 808 GPS GSM Bluetooth module. So this is what actually works with the satellite and the GSM network to send, uh, send down those parameters that we need. So um, how does it work? Let's get down to it. So when we start the system, it takes some time to initialize the parameters. For example, the GPS initial configurations the GSM initial configurations and the microcontroller settings. This process takes about 30 seconds, so we have to wait. And um, as add-on to this device, there is an onboard application um, P computer. As an add-on to this, as an add-on to this device, we have an onboard an onboard computer attached to the system that enables the device to speak on to the user so that whenever the user is a, para a specific configuration or something is required for from the user the computer speaks the actual words and for this i used um, c sharp to program the application using visual studio well uh, this is our onboard computer and that is the application so whenever the system starts this one will say something after initialization you take note So, if you want to start your vehicle, press start. Do not press sharp to enter configurations. So the system has been initialized and then sent some words to the computer to speak to speak to pronounce the words for the user to get. So now we have two options on our LCD. I'm very sorry, I have a wrong I have a bad camera. Cannot focus. So on the LCD on the LCD we have the first parameter which is start and then the other one here is sharp. If we want to start a vehicle, there is a password that you have to enter up to in order to start your vehicle. So let's do that. Let's press on star. When we press on star, it will require us to enter a key code. That key code in our case is um, an eight digit string that we enter to into the key into, into the LCD and then validate. So let's do that. So the system actually now verifies whether the user is um, drunk. Congratulations. You are fit to drive safely. The engine of your vehicle has been activated. So after doing that, you enter the code, the system now verifies the, the driver's breath, whether there is any alcohol sensed in his breath. If the driver has has taken um, alcohol, the system automatically activate um, 
the sobriety test. In our case, there is nothing, the driver is not drunk, so the vehicle started properly. So now let's take it to the other point where the driver is drunk. So we will have to reset the system and go back to that stage and test that aspect of the system. So we know that uh, it is possible for somebody to drink a cup of maybe beer and does not get drunk. So that in that case, what should the system do? The system should sense the um, quantity of alcohol from that uh, driver's breath and then automatically activate the sobriety test to verify if the driver is fit to drive. And to do that, we're going to present some alcohol to the alcohol sensor and, and do the test. So let's do that. So now let's go and present our bread to the... Thanks for using our system. For your safety, our system will walk you through a series of tests. Please be patient. So let's press the accelerator. Press the brake. We press the brake. Press the clutch. We press the clutch. Turn the wheel left. Okay, we do that. Turn the wheel right. We do that. Congratulations, you Congratulations. So take note this, this is the, the starter signal. Comes on. And then you have our GPS and GSM signal being displayed on the LCD. Okay, so now let's sense the value of the breath and then we fill the test. Thanks for using our system. If you want to start your vehicle, press start. If not, press sharp to enter configurations. So let's start the vehicle. Now let's sense our breath. System checking breath. So it increases to 27, so very high. Thanks for using our system. For your safety, our system will walk you through a series of Press the brake. So we press the brake. Press the clutch. It's, it asks us to press the clutch. Let's press the clutch, the brake again. Sorry. It fails. You failed the test. Then now it your will GPS send the GPS coordinates. Will be to a relative. Wait and take the test in an hour time. So that aspect is the aspect where when the sobriety test is failed, it now sends a GPS coordinates in the form of an SMS with a web link attached to it to any of the relatives so that they can help, they can come and find us and so the system shows here that I'm at Presbyterian Church Center. To enter configurations. So we can turn the vehicle off remotely using our cell phone. Yeah. Well, guys, that's it for the project. Thanks for watching. Bye.